Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 the exact model is a GA401Q that information can be found on the bottom of the laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM in here they do get shipped up with uh, different versions of the RAM 8 gig, 16 gig or 32 gig and this one is an 8 gig version it comes with an 8 gig solder on the board sadly but they do give you a one additional ram dim available empty so you can upgrade this particular one it's a ryzen 7 version 5000 series and it comes with an 8 gig and we are gonna add another 16 gig on top this uh, ryzen 7 versions they can go up to 32 gig upgrade but uh, the 8 gig on the board and 16 gig in here that's the highest we can go if i add a 32 gig it will add up with an 8 gig and it's gonna go over past the 32 gig uh, max capacity that we have so it's not gonna be utilizing so we're just gonna open it up and we can add the 16 gig and it's gonna add up with an 8 gig on board and so you can have it all right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You don't want to put it on a standby or anything like that. Make sure it's off completely. Then you want to turn it upside down. I'm going to grab a workshop towel. I'm going to put it on the knee so I don't scratch. And I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using for this. All you need to do is to get your compatible RAM. This is a crucial 16 gig 3200 DDR4 and a screwdriver set. I'll use the iFixit screwdriver set as they are one of the best screwdrivers out there. We are going to use a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With all this set, let's get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There are two types of screws, long screws and the short screws. If the front of the laptop is facing you, you want to remove from the left side one, two, three. Remove these three short screws on the, from the left to the right. Leave the right screw in the front alone. Do not touch it. So go ahead and remove these three screws. These are the short screws and keep them in a one pile. Now we're going to remove the rest of the screws four in the middle and the side and the back row. The screws, these are the long screws. Again, they're the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove them and keep them in a separate pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want my videos helpful and helping you guys to do your own upgrade and services, you can support the channel by clicking a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we removed all the screws except the one in here, and the one in here has a little C lock on it. That means it will not come out entirely. And as soon as you start twisting this screw or unscrewing it, it's gonna push the C lock, it's gonna help you to push the bottom cover away from the palm rest. So I'm gonna start twisting it, and you're gonna see a gap opening in there. You see that gap opening? That's after a few rounds, then you wanna stop doing it. Now you want to grab your opening tool. In this case, the guitar pick, you want to stick it in between the bottom cover and top palm rest. And you just want to twist it like this, just to the front row. And that should be fine. Once you did that, now you want to grab it, bring it up, wiggle it around like this, and it's going to release the bottom cover. And right away, you can see the battery, and you can see the RAM dim right in here. The second RAMs are soldered on the board on the other side. There's no space to put the RAM. So what you want to do in here, grab the RAM. Mine is right over here. You do not need to disconnect the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary to disconnect the battery. You don't need to. All you want to do is grab the RAM. I'm going to rip this. I'm going to pull it back so you guys can see. There's a little notch on the dim right there. And there's a notch on the dim right in here. So if you want to put it the other way around, it's not going to go through. So you want to bring it like this. Make sure in 45 degree angle. Okay. In 45 degree angle, you want to bring it down towards the dim. And you want to push it inside the dim in 45 degree inward. And then you're going to see this 45 degree 
setting up like that okay so what you want to do you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to hear these triggers open and close softly just like that and once you go all the way down it has to stay straight if your clips are not staying straight that means the ram is not in place once the ram is in there okay all you want to do you want to bring this isolating back on all you want to do grab the bottom cover put it on top And you want to squeeze the back corner, the side. Do not squeeze the front right where the screw is. All you want to do in here is just twist it. Okay. Put one screw in the corner back for the hinges. Those are the important ones. Just put these ones. And squeeze it down. Make sure you hear those click sounds, the cover. And put the three short screws on the front. And the rest of the screws goes all over the place. Now, we're going to power on. And it might take up to 5 to 10 or 15 seconds for the motherboard to do a RAM check. So, we're going to see how long it's going to take us. So, let's power on. And let's see. It might take 5 seconds. These are good motherboards. So it might turn on, yeah, and there we have it. Now you can go check your task manager. Everything is set to go. There's no other configuration that you need to do in here. Let me see. I'll put the password for this client in a second once we get to the task manager. So we're in here, and we go to the memory, and we can see now we have a 22 gig, 24 gig RAM right in here. And it says two out of two slot occupied and that's as far as you can go again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video